Julia Wangari is one of the women in the group that is using bamboo trees to better their livelihoods. Bamboo farming has changed their lives as they use it in feeding their livestock, cooking and making household utensils. Samuel Karioki is a member of the Green Belt Movement and volunteer who has been building the capacity of women groups on importance of embracing bamboo trees. He states that if Kenya can support bamboo farming, it could greatly assist to achieve 10% forest cover and will discourage cutting down of trees and instead turn into use of bamboo trees. Tuko na, na uh, eka kumi na tano ya bambu hapa na pia mama ishirini na waine wameweza kupanda kwao. So tukikusanya yote pamoja ni kama tayari tuko na ekari ishirini na tano ya bambu. Na manufa ingine ni kwamba uh, hali ya anga vile tunona ikibadilika. Uh, tukipanda mianzi tutakuwa tuko na suruhisho kwa sababu uh, tunajua Alban, a Norwegian businessman who supports the women, has praised Kenyans for accepting items and goods made from bamboo trees. Very valuable plant. It's a lot of varieties. You, you have 1,200 different bamboos, but you have some indigenous for, uh, for Kenya and for East Africa, and you have maybe 24 to 30 species, species that are accepted as African from the Kenya Forestry Research Institute. What is interesting is that bamboo can give a higher yield of timber than any other tree. In Norway, raw materials from bamboo trees are used to make clothes and socks and other furniture and household utensils. Dana Rose, K24 TV.